Hi, this is Galit Gofarb and welcome to my life coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. Today, the quote of the day is, Where attention goes, energy flows by James Redfield. So how are you today? I hope you are well. And I have a question for you. Where is your attention now? Have you planned your day? Where is your focus today? We all know the power of focus and we can see it through the magnifying glass experiment where the magnifying glass focuses the energy of the sun until we have fire. This is the same power of focused thoughts and habits. Are your thoughts scattered or are they focused on your mission? This is what you should be asking yourself. And what exactly does it mean to focus on our mission? Well, although we do want to focus our attention on reaching our goals, we will only see results if we focus our attention on the change we need to make in the process of reaching our goals, especially the change within ourselves and also the change in, within our actions. Thomas Jefferson said that if you want something you've never had, you must be willing to do something you've never done. And to that, I can add that you also have to think in ways that you never thought. You can't reach anything new if you remain the same person with the same mindset and the same habits and actions that you have today. You want to focus your thoughts towards the actions that will produce the results that you desire. And the great thing is that the more you focus on one action, And the great thing is that the more you focus on the action steps that bring you closer towards your desires, the more these action steps become your habits. And when something becomes a habit, especially a positive habit, it changes your character for the better. It changes you to become the person in line with the goal that you desire to reach. Habits are the things that we do daily. This means that when an action becomes a new habit of yours, and when you are taking habitual actions towards your goals, then you are always moving forward towards their attainment. There is no procrastination and there is, there is only the here and now. And now the speed of reaching your goal should not be important at all. Everything happens at the right time and at the right stage in life. When you are moving in the direction of your goal through daily actions, no matter what the speed, you will attain your goal just as the turtle did during his race with the rabbit. We see that it is consistent focus on the activity that needs to be done that gets us to our goal. Focusing on what seems to be urgent and what catches our attention is not the right way for achieving any of our goals and we will actually move away from reaching our goals. Only by, fo by, pl uh, by placing your focus on the action steps that are really important to reaching your goals will we get closer to the attainment of our goals. Now today in the information age we have endless distractions. It is almost really impossible for us to focus if we do not have the discipline to stop these distractions. We have all of the different ringtones for all of the different messages that come into our phone that is usually placed right within arm's reach from us. We have to be disciplined to put our phone on silent mode or do not disturb mode so that we can have a continuum of thought and then we can focus our attention on where we want our energy to go. The ringtones from our phones take us out of concentration from the task at hand and move our attention towards somebody else's needs. And we do have the option of blocking out these disturbances so that we can do what is important for us to do first to move our life towards where we desire to be. Now, people who know me know that I may go into my WhatsApp many times a day for things that are necessary for me, but I will only answer other people's requests at night after I have finished my daily tasks, and it may even take me a few days to reply. 
but because we only have a certain amount of hours in the day and there are many things to achieve and move forward towards our goals. And this is why distractions definitely need to be tamed. We do not need to become like one of Pavlo's dogs, that every ring we hear, we need to pick up the phone and check it. But because this easily becomes habitual behavior, as we saw with Pavlo's dogs, it is best to put the phone on do not disturb mode or silent mode for the time that you are concentrating on important tasks. Always focus on finding solutions to your problems and then acting on them. We often try to do many things at once, multitasking, but this is not the best way because I know that an hour of focused action is worth much more than a few partial hours of, uh, than a few hours of partial focus. Quiet focus is the most important thing for producing any quality work. So do one thing to completion and then do another and you will move forward much faster than when you try to do everything all at once. Focus is another one of those behavioral patterns that is like a muscle. I mentioned other behavioral patterns in previous videos that are also like muscles. We are not necessarily born with the ability to focus for a long time, but the more we do focus, the better we become at it. I think this is one of the major things I learned from my studies at the university. It's to focus on one thing at a time. It's almost impossible to study at the same time for two different exams in separate, on separate subjects, but it is definitely possible to do this well by studying for one exam after another. So, as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer you get will help move your life forward towards a better place for you. So the question of the day is, what are my dreams? Now write them down in the notebook that you have specially prepared for these coaching sessions. What are my dreams? And when can I dedicate quiet time to work at achieving each dream in its own time? You have to plan when you are going to work on each and every dream. And you have to put it into your schedule. Now write down a time that you will dedicate for each uh, of your goals, a time for solely focusing on achieving each and every dream. You may need an hour, a day, or even several months or even years to focus on, de and this depends of course on your dream and the time you will dedicate to it. But do this and follow your plan. I recommend writing this question and your answers in the notebook that you have, especially for these coaching sessions. Now, the affirmation of the day is, I easily focus my attention on taking action towards achieving my dreams every single day. I easily focus my attention on taking action towards achieving my dreams every single day. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you do to remember to do so today because with repetition and affirmation has the power to alter your consciousness so that you think and behave differently for a happier, better, and happier life for you. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I upload these kinds of videos every day almost. And I upload a health and wellness video once a week. Please also visit the website my website, thegorilladiet.com, for anything to do with health, weight loss, and achieving your goals in a natural, healthy way. Thank you very much for joining me.